Pharmacology of Cardiotoxicity, Exploring Mechanisms and Clinical Implications Cardiotoxicity is a significant concern in the field of pharmacology, as it refers to the potential harmful effects a drug can have on the heart. Understanding the underlying mechanisms of cardiotoxicity is crucial for the safe and effective use of medications in clinical practice. This comprehensive script aims to provide medical students with a detailed exploration of the various processes involved in cardiotoxicity, including ion channel blockade, oxidative stress, mitochondrial toxicity, calcium homeostasis disturbance, apoptosis and cell death, inflammation and immune response, autonomic dysfunction, genetic predisposition, drug metabolism and reactive metabolites, drug-drug interactions, and risk assessment and management. Cardiotoxicity can manifest in several ways, ranging from mild changes in cardiac function to life-threatening conditions such as myocardial infarction or heart failure. Drugs from various therapeutic classes have been associated with cardiotoxic effects, including antiarrhythmics, chemotherapeutic agents, antimicrobials, and psychotropic medications, among others. The mechanisms underlying these adverse effects can vary, leading to a wide spectrum of cardiac manifestations. One of the mechanisms by which drugs can induce cardiotoxic effects is through ion channel blockade. Ion channels play a vital role in the proper functioning of cardiac cells, regulating the movement of ions across the cell membrane. Drugs that selectively block specific ion channels can disrupt the normal electrical signaling in the heart, leading to arrhythmias or conduction abnormalities. Oxidative stress refers to an imbalance between the production of reactive oxygen species, ROS, and the antioxidant defense mechanisms in the body. Several drugs have been implicated in the generation of ROS, which can cause damage to cardiac cells and contribute to the development of cardiotoxicity. Understanding the role of oxidative stress in drug-induced cardiotoxicity is essential for the development of preventive strategies and potential therapeutic interventions. Mitochondria, the powerhouses of the cell, are vulnerable to drug-induced toxicity. Disruption of mitochondrial function can result in decreased ATP production, impaired calcium handling, and increased ROS production, ultimately leading to cardiac dysfunction. Identifying drugs with mitochondrial toxicity potential is crucial for minimizing the risk of cardiotoxicity in clinical practice. Calcium plays a pivotal role in cardiac contraction and relaxation. Drugs that disturb calcium homeostasis can directly interfere with the contractile function of cardiomyocytes, leading to impaired myocardial performance. Understanding the mechanisms by which drugs impact calcium handling is vital for elucidating their cardiotoxic potential. Apoptosis, programmed cell death, is an important mechanism involved in the maintenance of tissue homeostasis. Dysregulation of apoptosis in cardiac cells can contribute to the development of cardiotoxicity. Certain drugs have been shown to induce apoptosis in cardiomyocytes, leading to myocardial damage and impaired cardiac function. Inflammation and immune responses play critical roles in the pathophysiology of cardiac injury. Drugs can initiate inflammatory processes that can ultimately induce cardiotoxic effects. Understanding the interactions between drugs and the immune system is essential for evaluating their potential to induce cardiotoxicity. The autonomic nervous system plays a significant role in regulating cardiac function. Drugs that alter autonomic tone can disrupt the delicate balance between sympathetic and parasympathetic influences on the heart. Dysregulation of autonomic control can lead to arrhythmias, changes in heart rate, and impaired cardiac function. Genetic factors can influence an individual's susceptibility to drug-induced cardiotoxicity. Polymorphisms in genes encoding drug metabolizing enzymes, drug transporters, or targets in the heart can modify the pharmacokinetics and pharmacodynamics of drugs, thereby impacting the likelihood of cardiotoxic effects. Drug metabolism plays a crucial role in determining the toxicity profile of medications. Some drugs are metabolized into reactive metabolites, which can covalently bind to proteins or DNA, leading to cellular damage and dysfunction. Understanding the role of drug metabolism in cardiotoxicity is essential for predicting and managing adverse drug reactions. Drug-drug interactions can significantly influence the pharmacokinetics and pharmacodynamics of medications. Certain drug combinations can potentiate cardiotoxic effects or interfere with the metabolism and excretion of cardiotoxic drugs, increasing the risk of adverse events. Recognizing and managing drug-drug interactions is vital for minimizing the potential for cardiotoxicity in patients receiving multiple medications. The identification and management of patients at risk for drug-induced cardiotoxicity are paramount in clinical practice. Risk assessment tools, such as baseline cardiovascular evaluation, genetic testing, and cardiac biomarkers, can aid in predicting the likelihood of cardiotoxic effects. Implementing appropriate monitoring strategies and utilizing cardioprotective interventions are essential for mitigating the risk of cardiotoxicity. In conclusion, 
The understanding of cardiotoxicity is multidimensional, encompassing a broad range of mechanisms and factors. Familiarizing medical students with the complexity of cardiotoxicity is crucial for ensuring safe prescribing practices and optimal patient care. By comprehensively exploring the mechanisms discussed, physicians can make informed decisions when selecting medications, monitoring patients, and managing potential cardiotoxic effects.